ChatGPT just introduced its new pro subscription plan at $200 per month, offering advanced features for power users. In this video, we'll break down what the plan includes and whether it's worth the investment. The announcement was released yesterday. I got an email that linked to this article introducing ChatGPT Pro. Let's see what's going on with this. As AI becomes more advanced, it will solve increasingly complex and critical problems. It also takes significantly more compute to power these capabilities. Today we're adding ChatGPT Pro, a $200 monthly plan that enables scaled access to the best of OpenAI's models and tools. This is their pricing page. In comparison, the Plus plan, previously this was the only plan available, it was $20 per month. So this Pro plan is a big jump, but now they're saying the Pro plan gives you everything in Plus, you get unlimited access to GPT-4 Omni and O1. Now to me that's interesting because I always thought GPT-4 Omni was unlimited usage on the Plus plan. But I'm looking here in Limits Apply. Apparently you only got 80 messages every 3 hours. I guess I never hit that limit or got anywhere close to that. I never even got a notification that my limit was close to being reached. You get unlimited access to advanced voice. You get access to O1 Pro mode, which uses more compute for the best answers to the hardest questions. This is the most interesting to me because previously we got O1 Preview. If you went to select your model in the top left corner, this used to say O1 Preview and this one said O1 Mini Preview. Now it has changed to O1 and I'm not going to lie, it is a lot better. I've definitely noticed the difference right away. I personally don't think O1 Preview is a good model at all. I defaulted to using GPT-4 Omni for almost every task. But now there's this Pro model. I'm very excited to use it. Continuing on, this plan includes unlimited access to our smartest model, OpenAI O1, as well as to O1 Mini, GPT-4 Omni, and Advanced Voice. It also includes O1 Pro mode, a version of O1 that uses more compute to think harder and provide even better answers to the hardest problems. In the future, we expect to add more powerful, compute-intensive productivity features to this plan. It feels like we're getting so close to GPT-5, and this O1 Pro mode seems like the closest yet. ChatGPT Pro provides a way for researchers engineers, and other individuals who use research-grade intelligence daily to accelerate their productivity and be at the cutting edge of advancements in AI. And I agree with this little paragraph here. $200 per month is very expensive for a subscription plan, especially when a lot of you watching this video is only using the free plan. So to pay for something like this, to be able to use this model every day, if it's as powerful as they're promising, you're for sure going to be ahead on these advancements. More thinking power for more difficult problems. ChatGPT Pro provides access to a version of our most intelligent model that thinks longer for the most reliable responses. In evaluations from external expert testers, O1 Pro mode produces more reliably accurate and comprehensive responses especially in areas like data science, programming, and case law analysis. It sounds like it's niching down to specific areas of expertise. Maybe the general population won't be using this model or won't benefit from this model. And that's why the price point is set so high. It's only targeting certain industries that can afford this. Compared to both O1 and O1 Preview, O1 Pro mode performs better on challenging ML benchmarks across math, science, and coding. And this is my favorite part of every new model article. Gemini, Claude, OpenAI, they all show these benchmark tests. No one is ever going to look into this, but we're going to take their word for it. Let's see what it says. So in competition math, O1 Preview scored a 50, O1 scored a 78, and O1 Pro mode scored an 86. And like I said, O1 Preview was a bad model. 
It was very verbose, very long-winded. I didn't end up using it much. My early experiences with O1, definitely a much better model, so this makes sense. But O1 Pro mode is even outperforming that. In competition code, O1 dominated O1 preview. O1 Pro mode just beat out O1. In PhD level science questions, all of the models were pretty close, but O1 Pro mode took the cake. And then we have three graphs down here, but they're the exact same tests as the one above it. I'm not sure if this is a mistake on OpenAI's part because the numbers are different in these tests, but we're seeing the same trend. O1 preview is the worst. O1 is better. This is what we have access to on the plus plan. There is a limit. And then the $200 per month plan, you get O1 pro mode, unlimited usage, and it seems to outperform each of the models consistently. Honestly, it shouldn't even compare O1 preview. Maybe it should have just compared GPT-4 Omni. Look how bad this is, 26 out of 100. They say to highlight the main strength of O1 Pro mode, improved reliability, we use a stricter evaluation setting. A model is only considered to solve a question if it gets the answer right in four out of four attempts. Four out of four reliability, not just one. Okay, maybe that's what these graphs down here means. It changed the evaluation setting and still O1 Pro mode outperformed. Pro users can access this functionality by selecting O1 Pro mode in the model picker and asking a question directly. Since answers will take longer to generate, ChatGPT will display a progress bar and send an in-app notification if you switch away to another conversation. I have seen the notification pop up for the other models. If I just type something into ChatGPT and wait for the response to complete, you see the notification in the top right. It says new chat connecting to the WordPress REST API. That's the question I asked. That notification says that it has completed. So they are doing that notification for every model, not just O1 Pro mode. In this screenshot, this looks to be the progress bar. The user is asking a coding question. It wants to fix an issue with their code. And O1 Pro mode is working through the problem. It's almost half completed. I'm assuming you can click on details here, which is probably the same as the thinking step with O1. If I send a message in using ChatGPT O1, you get this thinking link. If I click on it, you see the details in the right side. I'm assuming you're gonna get the same for O1 Pro mode, but these details are going to go on for a long time, especially if the problem is very complex you're gonna get a lot of thinking steps. ChatGPT Pro grants to help drive meaningful progress in fields that benefit humanity. We are awarding 10 grants of ChatGPT Pro to medical researchers at leading institutions in the US. I like that a lot. With plans to extend Pro grants to other regions and areas of research in the future. The initial 10 grants will be awarded to researchers, including we have a children's hospital. She specializes in discovery of new genes for rare and orphan diseases. That would be amazing if this pro model could help with advancements in the medical fields. We have a computer research scientist at Berkeley. He uses biomedical data to extract new knowledge to address human disease. We have a professor of anatomy and neurobiology at Boston University. It's for aging and dementia. And genomic medicine. This professor researches aging and cancer immunotherapy. This is some very exciting stuff. What's next? They'll be adding capabilities to Pro over time to unlock more compute intensive tasks. We'll also continue to bring many of these new capabilities to our other subscribers. To learn more or subscribe, visit ChatGPT. And that makes sense. Over time, this O1 Pro mode will be available to everybody. As we get better and better models, they're probably always going to price lock the higher models and everything else gets filtered down. If you want me to bite the bullet and try Pro mode for all of you guys, give it a nice good test, compare it to the Plus plan and the other models, let me know in the comments below. If you're looking for a comprehensive business suite of AI agents for your company, 
check out the web app that I'm building, youraiagent.com. We have everything from auto blogging to chat bots to Google News bots, LinkedIn bots, Reddit bots, Amazon affiliate bots, Twitter bots, and YouTube comment responders. I'm also building bots for Blue Sky, a rapidly growing social network, a competitor to Twitter. Come check us out using the link in the description below. If you want to build your own AI agents and turn it into a profitable web app, check out my online course, How to Build a Custom AI App. I'll leave a link to this in the description as well. And if you like this video, I put two more on the screen right now. Both have been catered to your personal YouTube watch history. Give one of them a click for me, give it a watch, and I'll see you in there. Peace.